Business Week once ranked a Cincinnati suburb as one of the best places to raise kids for less. And honestly, there's no better way to describe this small Ohio city. That's right, I'm talking about Madeira, Ohio, a suburb just minutes from downtown Cincinnati. But here's the thing, with so many suburbs in greater Cincinnati, how do you know that Madeira is the right fit for you? After all, choosing the wrong place could be missing out on your dream home and location. That's where I come in. I've lived in Greater Cincinnati for over 40 years, so I know all the ins and outs of all the different neighborhoods, but especially Madeira, I got the inside scoop because I've been lucky enough to call Madeira home for over 12 years. So I'm gonna take you on a tour today so you can explore Madeira and have a really good idea if Madeira is the right fit for you and your family. So what are we waiting for? Let's dive in. So let's start out by clarifying a question we get from out of towners, and that is Madeira is actually its own city. It's taxed as a city. The city of Cincinnati is made up of 52 distinct neighborhoods, and really this is that first suburb right outside the city of Cincinnati limits. Actually, I think now's a good time to dig in and talk to you a little bit about how did Madeira even come to be. So let's talk about the history and some of the population. So how did Madeira get its name? It was actually named after John Madeira, who was a large landowner in Madeira. And the, a lot of the growth came along to Madeira once the depot, which is now a butcher shop in downtown Madeira, um, but uh, the train depot was established as a, a railway between West Virginia and Cincinnati. And so that is where Madeira really became to life once that railway was established and that depot was set up there. It was incorporated as a village in 1910 and became a city in 1959. And it's really known for its small town atmosphere, but vibrant business district. Let's talk about the population. It's a little, it's home to a little under 9,000 residents. And it's really built out in about three square miles. So not very large. It's known as an extremely safe community. In fact, the crime rate is 67% lower than the national average. And it's got its name. That's maybe why it gets its name is the friendly city. Um, and we'll get into that in a little bit. When we talk about walkability and people waving as you go by. Um, very, very friendly community. Let's talk a little bit about the housing options, architecture, and just kind of lay of the land in Madeira. And most of the homes were built in the 50s and 60s when you look on average. So you'll see a lot of Cape Cods, a lot of ranches, tri-levels, bungalows. And then we also are starting to see a lot of teardown and new builds um, that has come into resurgence in the last 10 years as Madeira has become such a popular suburb in Cincinnati. As I mentioned, the housing stock was built out mostly in the 50s and 60s. So Madeira set up like this perfect grid where you have sidewalks that lead you to the elementary school, to downtown Madeira. It's a very walkable community, which we'll get into later. But there are also options that are out there within Madeira if you're looking for more of that cul-de-sac feel, such as Kenwood Hills, which is the only community in Madeira that offers a neighborhood pool. Now it's a little bit more disconnected from downtown Madeira, but it does offer you that more traditional suburban feel of uh, a cul-de-sac street. Then when you get into homes built kind of in the 90s and newer, um, those are going to be 800 plus typically in price. And those are going to offer that more cul-de-sac feel, uh, suburban feel um, with maybe a little uh, more space. Those are going to be neighborhoods such as Camargo Canyon, Fox Chase, Woodland Reserve, just to name a few. But keep in mind, Madeira, once again, is three square miles. So you're pretty much close to everything. And we're going to talk about location. So you're not going to want to miss that here in a little bit. So what are the costs? What does it cost you to live in Madeira? Well, right now, the median home price in Madeira is $466,000 or $250 a square foot. And we've seen that number go up dramatically in the last few years because Madeira has just topped list after list as one of the greatest suburbs in Cincinnati. Therefore, we've seen a lot of new construction and different things like that, mostly infill, teardown, new construction, so that is boosting home values in Madeira. A typical home in Madeira will be around 300,000. It is rare to find something under 300,000. 
Really, you're probably looking at 350 and above. Most of these are gonna be a Cape Cod or something to that effect. Closer to the elementary school um, is where we see a lot of those starter homes, um, but they're sprinkled throughout Madeira as well. Now, home values go all the way up to over a million dollars as well. Um, once again, some of those homes that we talked about in those neighborhoods that were built out in the 90s or some of the new, new uh, construction uh, communities as well. And that's where you can see price points reaching north of a million. And the housing market is super competitive there. We have seen a number of homes that will get into multiple offers. And most of that is just because there's very limited inventory. We've hit on this before, but Madeira is only three square miles. So it's not a huge geographic area and it's super desirable. So with not many homes coming to the market, it's been a very competitive market where you can expect to see homes go in just a few days. In fact, resale homes typically sell within three days of being marketed. And while we see a number of them go in multiple offers, on average, homes just sell only 2% under list price. Let's talk about home ownership rates. Nearly 90%, it's about 87.9% of the homes are owner occupied. Uh, there's not much of a rental stock. You don't see a lot of apartments available in Madeira. Most of the rentals are gonna be single family homes that are rented from, from individual mom and pop type investors. There are both new construction and resale homes. We talked about this before. Most of the new construction you're gonna see are gonna be tear down infill homes. So you could see a house that's selling for 800,000 plus right next to a house that just sold for 400. Um, a lot of times the land is worth more than the house that is there. And if it's in bad shape, you'll see some of these builders come in, tear them down, build a brand new house, and you'll see that sprinkled throughout Madeira. And housing costs are typically about 29% higher than the national average. Now we've hit on this a little bit before, I'm gonna dive into it more now, and that is the huge buzzword we hear all the time from buyers gonna buy, and that is walkability. And boy, does Madeira check that box. Actually, walkscore.com ranks Madeira as extremely walkable, which is the highest ranking that they get. You can run all of your errands in one spot from the grocery store, the post office, the drug store, the bank, everything is extremely walkable. Even the schools are walkable. They even have a thing called Walk to School Wednesday where all the kids walk to school on Wednesdays because most parts, not all, but most parts of Madeira are very walkable to the elementary school or the middle school. But even if you can't walk everywhere, the location is so close to all kinds of major attractions. Number one of them would be Kenwood Town Center, which is the largest mall in greater Cincinnati, home to Nordstrom, Louis Vuitton, the Apple Store, Our House, Restoration Hardware, any high-end retailer you can think of is based in Kenwood Town Center. And talk about grocery options, we mentioned there's a grocery store, Kroger in downtown Madeira, easy to get to, but let's say you want some different options. You're less than two miles to the closest Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Fresh Market. It's so easy to get to all these different locations in less than two miles from Madeira without even hopping on the highway. But let's talk about the highway, because I tell you what, the access to Madeira, and this is one of the other reasons it makes Madeira so popular, is it is right off I-71, just 12 miles northeast of downtown Cincinnati, and the location is so convenient to really get to anywhere, whether you're heading to downtown Cincinnati to catch a football game, go to a bar, a restaurant, or you want to go up north to the suburbs up in Mason, because maybe you're you know, going to the P&G campus in Mason. It's that perfect blend right in between you know, your far north suburbs and downtown Cincinnati. And it's one of the reasons why Madeira is so popular, because it's easy to get to a lot of different places throughout Cincinnati along that I-71 corridor. In fact, the average commute time is 18.7 minutes, which is far below the national average. Now we've talked about the location, the walkability, all of that good stuff, but I still haven't touched on one. And this is probably the, one of the most important reasons 
that people picked Madeira. But first, are you having doubts whether Madeira is the right fit for you or not? Researching everything about a city can take hours and hours of time, and you may not even know where to begin. But I've got a solution for you. Subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have weekly updates about Madeira and Greater Cincinnati that you can follow right along here you can make sure that you're staying well informed of what's happening in our market. Now that we've talked about that, what's this mysterious factor that every Madeira local is stoked about? Of course, I'm talking about the schools. And let me tell you, this may be just what seals the deal for you. Madeira has an excellent public school system. And in fact, it's one of the top ranked high schools in the country, coming in at number three in the state of Ohio. The public school system is made up of three schools. You have the elementary school, which just added a new wing to it recently, and that serves pre-K up to fifth grade. And then you have the middle school, which serves sixth to eighth grade, and then the high school that serves ninth to twelfth grade. Madeira is a smaller district, which has its pros and cons, but what I like about it is that it creates a lot of opportunity for kids to be involved in multiple activities, whether it's theater, uh, sports, or even the band. And I've seen it firsthand where, where we've been in a football game and the football team's on the way into the locker room at halftime and a couple of the football players are out there marching with the band. That's just a great way to describe Madeira is that there's just a lot of opportunity in that district. Now, public schools aren't for everybody. There's also private options is available as well. St. Gertrude, which is located just right across the street from the middle school, and St. Gertrude serves kindergarten through eighth grade and is also another great resource if it's a Catholic private education that you're looking for. While school is very important, we all wanna have some fun as well. So let's talk about a few of the things to do in Madeira, and there are a number of them. Let's start off with the shopping. The business district, like I mentioned, is an awesome business district, very walkable, um, and there's a lot of different specialty shops down there. I personally love Romaldo. I got this jacket here, nice tailor shop. Um, you have Camargo Trading, which is one of my wife's favorites. If she's gonna run out to get any type of gift, a housewarming present or anything like that. She loves that place. There's also a shop called the Pink Box as well. So a number of different specialty shops in Madeira, just to name a few. And then let's talk about the restaurants. There's a lot of them to mention, so I won't be able to hit them all. Um, but Atavola is one of my favorites, a great little spot, Ferraris, or Swing Line Grill as well. All great spots and uh, to hit up that are all family friendly and great restaurants if you're looking for a night out. And then like I said, within two miles, there's also a lot more different options as we mentioned, Kenwood Town Center, movie theater, all within two miles of Madeira. So super close um, and lots of activities to do. Let's talk about planned community events because there's a lot of those. Uh, there's a farmer's market that runs that is great. We've been a big sponsor for the farmer's market and really enjoy going there. Uh, that happens weekly, as well as community events such as the Madeira Street Dance, uh, the 4th of July uh, fireworks and, and that are set off at McDonald Commons Park, as well as your traditional parades, 4th of July, homecoming parade. So a lot of different community activities as well. I've only mentioned a few of them. Now I talked a little bit about uh, McDonald Commons Park because that is brand new, awesome park that's just been totally redone uh, where you have all your ball fields, you have multiple pickleball courts. And let me tell you, if you want a pickleball court, man, you gotta get there early. There, there, there's a big pickleball community uh, down there with multiple courts, basketball courts. So just a great spot. You'll see a lot of the soccer games and everything happening there on the weekend. Um, and it's once again, uh, super walkable. And then there's also Selman Park up by the middle school. Um, so great playgrounds at both parks, great areas to take the kids. I know for me, I love walking down to McDonald Commons Park, just taking a couple laps around there to get some exercise. Um, so just a great, great spot and great parks uh, that are also available in the Bureau as well. And if you're a golfer looking for that private club, uh, Kenwood Country Club, which was home to one of the LPGA events, offers 36 holes. Uh, that is one of Cincinnati's high-end uh, country club options that are available, uh, lo located right in the Bureau. 
Now this one may be for the out-of-towners because if you're local, you're gonna have a pretty good feel for what the weather is. But if you're maybe looking from out of town, Madeira's weather is gonna be pretty much the same as Cincinnati's, but let's hit on it just in case. So we have a lot of seasonality in Greater Cincinnati. We have all four seasons. And one of the questions we get a lot are, what are the winters like? The winters are gonna be a little bit colder. Um, average lows are gonna be about 24 degrees. And we do have some snowy winters. We average about 13.9 inches of snow uh, each year. But when you compare it to other cities in Ohio, Northern Ohio, that's gonna be a lot less. Uh, summers are going to be pretty warm here as well. Um, average highs are about 85 degrees, but one of the things that I think is great about Cincinnati is you do experience all four seasons, and it's the same for Madeira, because Madeira really is in greater Cincinnati. With tons of different housing options, it's great location, some of Ohio's best schools and the walkability, you can see why Madeira is such a popular neighborhood for folks in particular that are relocating and trying to find that right spot for them in greater Cincinnati. Now, I wanna know, I'm sure some folks watching here, they may have traveled to Madeira, they may live in Madeira. I wanna know what your favorite parts about Madeira are. So I ask you to comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Now, if you made it this far in our video, chances are you may be interested in making a move to Madeira or to one of our other great Cincinnati neighborhoods. And this is where we come in. We would love to help you out as Cincinnati's number one real estate team for the last four years. We help over 400 buyers and sellers each year navigate the real estate market. And we've been lucky enough to be Madeira's number one real estate team for the last five years. So if you're interested in Madeira or any other neighborhood in greater Cincinnati, we would love the opportunity to connect with you. You can always reach out to us at info at oilerhines.com. We'd love to help you out. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss out on other great content. Where we can help you navigate the greater Cincinnati real estate market. And before you go, if you are interested in Madeira, you should check out our video, What Your Money Can Get You in Madeira, where I highlight multiple different homes, take you on those property tours and tell you what they actually sold for, their listings that we've had, everything from starter homes at the beginning uh, to million plus. You really get a feel for what your money can get you in Madeira. So check it out. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.